probably you are thinking that these are our drone shots but let me tell you these are not drone shots by any means all of you know about google earth which is not a simple map application but it has an outstanding features but i personally like its 3d view of any location where you can navigate freely you can go anywhere and using this 3d navigation behavior we can create this kind of fake drone shots of any location and that's where a new application comes which is google earth studio yes here you can customize and animate the entire satellite view as per your choice you can pan you can rotate and whatnot so without making further delay let's explore now to open google earth studio you simply search and from here you will land to the official page of google earth studio once you are in home page you will see two options blank projects and quick starts if you go to the quick starts you will see already some presets animations are there here you no need to do anything just select your presets and type your location and your animation will be done automatically but to learn i always prefer to go with blank projects where you will get full customization so first you enter your project name check your video dimension and time duration by default it is set in frames but you can convert it in time code now you can start your project and this is your entire dashboard your entire editing timeline on the left side there are some parameters like longitude latitude pan till and based on these parameters our animation will go so the first step is just enter your location say new york once you enter my art will bring me to the new york city here you can adjust your entire scene as you wish make it 3d and make it zoom all right so this is my first position or first frame and now we are going to activate the keyframes here you will see at the top if you activate this keyframe automatically my keyframes will be applied to all the parameters but for now i will consider only these first three parameters so activate the first three here then move your playhead to the very end then you change your position and activate another keyframe now if you play this you will see this nice smooth panning movement of your shot this is exactly similar with the typical keyframes let's consider another example and this time i'm going to use the panning property activate your first keyframe here go to the end and change your position And you will see this nice rotation panning effect. Now here you may observe some kind of lagging issue due to internet connections because it is fully based on cloud. But once you render, you will get a high quality output. Now come to the last part. How to render the entire scene. Simply go to the top and click render. And here you will see all your video settings. No need to change anything and submit your projects. Your rendering will be done only in the cloud. So you cannot see anything here and how much time it will take to render depends on the length of your project. Once your rendering is finished you will receive a mail and from here you can download your entire video that's all. So this is just a small example using the same technique you can make several applications like zoom, spiral, rotation and whatnot. One more thing I recommend you to go through the FAQ of Google Earth Studio you will learn a lot of things. Most important FAQ I found here that they are not offering for commercial right. Yes, Google Earth Studio doesn't allow for any kind of commercial application. Maybe in future they may come up with a paid plans or something else. Anyways, drop me your comments and let me know how you found this video. Please consider to subscribe to this channel and press the bell icon. And I will see you in the next video.